Boy, I'm hungry. Welcome back to Raft. <laughs> Nick is already starving. The sun is setting. And we have a bathtub. With a little shrine and a fireplace next to it. So that's not ideal. I don't know what is. <laughs> I like this like additional second story that's over here. No, no, no. There's a plan for it. Don't worry about it. Okay. I see things. I see things in places. You see things in places. Yes. Wait. I want to see this. Oh, a code. A code. I see a code. Wait. I did it. Look at you. Okay. I get, I get tree. You get tree. <laughs> so these are like things to go find or mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I oh, there's a... <gasps> this is what I think it is. <laughs> Are you sleeping? You're sleeping. Sleeping. Oh, I think that's the right, that's the thing we're going for. What's the thing? Oh, that. Oh. Huh. Neat. How do we get up this thing? Probably parkour. Not sure, actually. Yeah. Ooh, there's an underwater section. Ah, that's fun. With a telephone. Um. Mm -hmm. Are there things we can have? Is this a thing I can have? Oh, there's like scrap on the shelves and things. Okay. Oh, I got a lot of things. Oh. Um, well, I'm hungry. No, oh, I'm hungry. I brought some fish if you would like some hungry fish. For air. <laughs> <laughs> hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry, and by hungry, I mean I'm suffocating. I see. Well, I got a briefcase. I got we got a new note. There's a Jeremiah. Okay, Pick up a briefcase. A briefcase. I need a crate. Anything over there? Do we get everything out of the basement? There, crate. Um, oh, I that's a Jeremiah. Him. You can get in. He's dead. He's dead? No, he's Hawk? just stuck. Never mind. He, oh, okay. Oh, he's in here with us. Um, We have a shark in a contained area. It's... Maybe don't be in the room with him. Um... I can tell you're getting me in. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Let me get up. How do I get up? Um, How do I get up? How do I get up? Yeah, I feel like he's chasing me. He's not. He's not. Okay, I got up. I got up. Uh, door. Into door. How? 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 Caught a shark. Oh. Named him Bruce. His I name so is afraid. Jeremiah. Excuse you. <laughs> I got you, Bruce. How did you get up? How did you get up? Please. I parkour. Parkour hard. Um, you can jump on these like little metal great things, and I just hopped on. I'm gonna just stand on the door for a second. Just, just Here, if, second. if you come over to where I am, um, you can. I'm afraid. Robbie, boat's gone. Bruce is after me. Gonna stay here until I find a way off this place. Oh. Mike. <laughs> yeah. See. There's like a ton of. This is Loki creepy. Not gonna lie. Tons of cardboard boxes. Lots of scrap. I love how the guidebook tells us to like leave things for people who come after us, and we're just like, nah, everything belongs to me. Nope, it's, it's my briefcase. Thank you. <laughs> this place is interesting, shall we say? Got a hoop. Oh, there's a radio. Here, Nick. Oh, it's up. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Pick up now. Hello. 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 Hip. Hip us. Hip. 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 Hello, I am under the water. <laughs> Please help me. Um. Okay, this looks like parkour. Okay. I do this now. Do do do. Hook, boat. Won't be back. 
That's kind of rude. That that's very rude. Imagine just abandoning your friend here. Hey, that gives me an idea. No, let's not do that. <laughs> Alright, there is like a section that I didn't uh, look at. Probably, I don't know where it was, but. Can I not climb these vines? I tried that too. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm stupid. Okay. Oh no. Um, I'm also stupid. Uh oh. Where the heck? Oh, hi. Jump through the <laughs> <Hi. laughs> The Minecraft brain is too strong. Now I have to figure out how the heck we got up there. Oh, there's a staircase. There is a staircase. Scrap. Plastic. Is there? Yeah, there has to be a way up. There is a way up. Uh, yeet. I, I am up. Um, the yeet? Okay, I'm also up. Hello. Hello. Go to the top. It's Bennett Potty's getting over it now. <laughs> it's kind of a cool boat. I like this boat. It is interesting. Utopia. People? You can read that one. You should read our notes. Yeah, okay. Okay, you ready for some dramatic narration? Ready. Radio Tower. Two months we've been working on these reactors. Two months working to save the world and no one to tell our story to. Our names aren't important. They gave us all nicknames after that foreman leaked everything about the North Pole testing project. As if that made a difference. Hell, as if any of us could make a difference at this point at all. Sparrow has been... Nah. Sparrow had been wary since the initial pitch, especially over the details that had been glossed over. Apparently the prototype is nowhere near stable. There was no mention of what happened to the Chinese team that came before us. Ren was supposed to be one of them, but he's not letting anything show. Owl mumbled something about the emergency cooling system looking shoddy, which wasn't half of it, but I knew better than to rattle on about it. I mean, they gave us some place dry to work on. God knows those are in short supply. Is this supposed to be, like, post-climate change? Maybe. And all of the glacial water has melted and the oceans have risen past. All the plastic. <laughs> um. Okay, in January. I wish I knew where we were, that we had some place we could point to, except that radio tower out in the distance. 12, 16, and 8 failed today after three days of testing. 16's core burned so hard and fast it ate right through the well. Wet well. Its payload sank into the ocean, hot enough to burn for a hundred years. Sparrow checked the radiation levels, what's being let out with every test. They said that they're going to use those in shelters. We can fix this, she said. And the craziest part is, we agreed. Us four overworked, exhausted pencil necks. We would save the world. What would be left of it anyways? February. Turns out, Ren blew the whistle on us and it made it possible for- and made it- ugh, and made the people in charge mad. They must have known we were stalling, working 12, working on 12 and 24. Those things let out so much radiation they burned green, for God's sake. Except they took them away. Sure, Owl and I put up a fight, but they just shoved us around. That bunch of jocks. Took Sparrow and Reactor 8 with them too. After all, Ren knew she was the only one with the smarts to keep them working. They left us behind on the reactor testing platform. Oh, <laughs> something you did. I found a note. Okay. <laughs> um, then blew the foundations. The water's been rising slowly. Owl thinks we should go after them. I wish I didn't agree with him. Okay. And then... That's everything for this. But it looks like there's a new tower we need to head to? Mm-hmm. Okay. People 8111? Yes. But. Okay. Alright, I went through, I don't think, I found a room that, like, we didn't pick up stuff. That's where I found that last note. Solid. But is that everything? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay, so to me this says 
post climate change nuclear disaster kind of thing. Mm. Where, due to some vast human negligence, there are few land masses. Yeah, that would make sense. Sad. Very sad. Alright, I don't need this anymore. I learned how to make a shelf. Oh, I have a present for you! <gasps> Here. A present for me? <laughs> ah! A present for me! Yeah! Thank you. Of course. Alright, let me head us or make a start in the right direction. Okay. Uh, 8111? 8111. Right? That's what we're gonna call it for today. I'm sorry that the audio was a little scuffed, but I still think we made a decent amount of progress, and I really hope you enjoyed Nick and I exploring the radio tower. We did end up making it to the next area, and I'm gonna save that for the next episode, because I think it's really funny, and I think you guys will really enjoy it. So until then, have a great day. Thank you for watching. <laughs>